Hello and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. My name is Spange. This is Project Eden. And we're going to take out this Promethean tanker. Have a good old look at it. If we can, that is. It has got, uh, it's got some shields on it, so it might prove a little bit difficult. It also does also require me being able to shoot as well. That is also very helpful. Oh, a bit of lag there. That was fun. Um, I have, as always, chosen the timing of this episode very well. And the sun is about to set. There's a lot of sentries on that thing. I'm losing shields quite quickly, actually. I've actually taken some um, damage while the ship was docked to the top of uh, Mork. One of the drones that hit me in the last episode hit this ship. And you might notice that one of my tail wings is missing. Which is just outrageous. Let's get these shields down. This thing is absolutely covered in sentry guns. 65% on the shields. Twenty percent. There goes the shields. And I'll start targeting these sentries. Well, they take my shields down. What is precision shooting? It's quite difficult to hit these damn things. There goes my shields. I didn't realize how low they were. Back up to 100%. It's so many sentries on this damn thing, it's ridiculous. So, every time I sort of think, oh, I've got them all. No, there's another one. Oh, no, there's another one. <laughs> there's a lot of thrusters on this thing. The salvage alone is uh, very much worth it. Uh, what's the drone situation like? We've got this guy down here. Seems quite happy to stay down there, but I'm going to shoot him anyway. Die. Good. Well, um, you died well. Um, all right. There's a core. Go down, right, recharge your shields now, you know, get. Okay, let's park on top of this thing. Again. There we go. Ah, wonderful. Now just don't fall off. Oh, yeah, there's that whole thing about the temperature and the radiation. Um, no, I put my radiation medicines back. Let me just go and quickly grab those. It appears the patrol ship has decided to try and couple with the unknown artifact over there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. But that is the patrol ship. That is the unknown artifact. And they seem to be cooperating. <laughs> Alright, good job patrol ship. Well done. Okay. Take a radiation boost. All right, we're going to get a problem with the heat. Then is the only issue here. Then, um, and I've already blown through, so there is no insulation in here whatsoever. Cool. Where's the fridge, though? Lovely. That's what the core was. Yes, it's very hot. It's very hot, and this is potentially going to be an issue. Except shower. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Reduce my temperature. Excellent. 
some basic components and stuff. Whatever, I don't really care. Why is it so much hotter up here? Is that a drone? It is a drone. I'm just slightly worried that if that's a drone. I'm going to shoot my uh, C. Not really much I can do from here. Oh, there is a drone. It's like right here. That <laughs> and I missed a drone. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> All right. We got to do a bit of parkour. Yep. I know, I know, I know. Heat stroke, whatever. Can't pick up inventory full. Oh, crap. Heat collapse. Wow, there's a lot of Promethean. Excellent. Alright, we need to get rid of this heat collapse thing. It's too hot. Not out of the woods yet. The salvage on this thing is insane, but I, I just can't salvage it while uh, while it's this hot out. I think what I'll need to do is park Mork in such a way that he can hover. Oh, crap. Can I park all out of here? Yeah. If Mort can hover next to it, and then um, I can drone, it's just going to cost a lot of fuel to hover, but it's the only way I think I can do it. Anyway, that's that. That was interesting. Lots of fuel out of it, which is good. No, not some components, but other than that, not a great deal of loot. There we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to hover Mork next to it. Um, take it apart and then I think what we're going to do is go check out the red planet and see what that's like because this place this place is mad and this is just the moon what do you think the planet's going to be like and remember the description of the planet said uh, if you do go down on there then there are great treasures awaiting so I mean there's a scosium down there so we definitely want to check that out okay let's get up there All right, I think that's what I'm going to have to do right there uh, so hovering there at 165 minutes of, of fuel, just on a hover, so I don't want to take too long. Uh, but at least like this then I can I can just stay in here. If I connect to main again and use the drone um, to take everything apart. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to put a core in it first. Put my core in somewhere. Pop it on the roof up here. There we go. Mine now. And yeah. Let the disassembly commence. Okay, I've pretty much taken the whole thing apart now. Um, and I've loaded most of it into the factory. So, uh, yeah, we're looking at 6,000 Satium. 5,000 Neo at the moment just sat in our factory. So that's pretty good. Uh, I've also completed the... Um, the hover vessel, the tank, the hover tank. So we're going to have to give that a go soon as well. But uh, I'm not sure when we're going to need it. Um, probably on that on that thing right there. <laughs> that giant planet. But anyway, let's stop hovering and get out of here. I think we're done with this moon for now. There's still plenty to discover and stuff. But uh, we can come back and do that another time. And now let's check out this big beautiful red planet <laughs> I think I might regret this probably going to regret this we got 1.4 G's on this planet so it's quite heavy gravity we might need our extra thrusters for this but let's see how we do <laughs> into the fiery depths of hell ladies and gentlemen oh boy here we go oh yeah I remember this. 
All right. What on earth do you mean by treasures? That's what I want to know. Crashed capital vessel. Yeah. Okay. Fairly standard. Not too worried about that. We've got a size class four planet. That's the old Hyperion. How many is Ascosium deposits? So we got we got four Ascosium deposits somewhere. Entering Xerax territory. Oh yeah, that's um that's a bit of Xerax. Let's let's avoid that, shall we? That looks like a little bit too much Xerax uh, to deal with right now. Defense posts and several big ish looking Xeraxian structures. It's going to be one of these planets because I mean I can fly around here 40 minutes of flight time. I'm heading to the south pole, which is probably not best. I should be probably be heading east or something uh, or west, but that's just that Xerax cluster. That's probably another one we're going to have to fly around in the SV to find anything decent. Um, yeah, so far just a standard lava planet, I think. There might be stuff on the ground. Maybe there's like Zask rocks on the ground or something. I don't know. I'll have a little look around. I'll come back to you in a sec. Found a Promethean deposit. Medium as well. That'd be pretty good to pick that up. Got about um, 800 Promethean from that last haul. But uh, having a bit of surplus is not a bad thing. So I'm going to go and pick that up. And then I'll continue to have a little look around. Actually, now that we get closer to the surface here, that is a lot of pentaxid rocks on the ground there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of pentaxid rocks. Problem is, it's 140 degrees outside. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about picking them up. Well, I'll just concentrate on the Promethean deposit for now. Oh, Mindy can do that, no problem. That's a little bit better now. I've got over a thousand, over two thousand Promethean ore uh, in storage now, so that's pretty good. So, power wise, we should be absolutely fine for a while, which is good, I think, because we were looking a little bit. Eh, we've got 226 fusion cells still. And a stack and a bit of the uh, the small fuel packs thanks to that Promethean barge. But um, yeah, always good to have a bit of a surplus. Anyway, I'm going to continue to have a little look around. See if we can find anything else in this thing. Hopefully I can find a Zascosium deposit. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a big old planet though. Ah, oh, hey, nice. It's a Scusium deposit. I almost fell asleep then. <laughs> hey. Got, just got to clear up the drones. That is a very awkward Scusium deposit as well. <laughs> nice. I need to be right in the wrong place. I have nowhere to land. Uh, yeah, alright. Well, at least we found one. Uh, it's a small one, which was to be expected, to be honest. Um... I don't really know what our Zascosium situation is, actually. I haven't really needed it all that much. We've got 500 and... So we've got half a stack and a bunch of alloy. Yeah. It's not it's not dire. I would say a restroom is probably uh, more. And we only found that planet with the whole one restroom deposit on it. This one's only got four Zascosiums on it, so I'm quite lucky to find that, actually. Just got to wait for these turrets to deal with these drones. The, um, the gravity is... Posing a bit of a danger. A little bit. Come on, boys. This drone is getting well cheeky. <laughs> He's now getting wrecked, though. Bye, drone. Until I lower the ship so much, four cannon turrets can uh, start laying into you. I said four cannon turrets. Four. Never mind. <laughs> I think this one might be a hover job, you know. I might need to just hover the ship here and uh, see if we can run Mindy in and out um, on the ramp. Because there's no landing here, that's for sure. Uh, there's only a small deposit, it shouldn't take too long, but this will be. Probably best to park, hover about there, press the O key to level her out, hover that, <clears throat> and 
Mindy. Whack on drill mode. For your meters to the Zascosium. She'll make short work of it with these laser drills. Uh, I can already see some outlines as well. Alright, I'm going to grab this Zascosium and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. That is that Zascosium deposit done. Turn drill mode back off. At the end of that, we got Mindy. Oh, oh not very much. 300. But that's 600 ingots, so. It's not to be sniffed at. Okay, the point is that we found Zascosium. We know there is some down on this planet, so that's good. If we ever need to come back here uh, for Zascosium, we can. I don't think. Now, I'm probably wrong. There's probably something very special on this planet somewhere, but the prospect of searching the entire place is somewhat daunting at the moment. So, um, I don't think oh, there's going to be anything else on here. I think this is a fairly generic description. Because on... I wonder if the Topps Brewery and stuff is on this one. This is... Mind you, there's, uh, there's another lava planet. Para, para, yeah, lava, planet size three, one point two Gs. A couple of moons on that one as well. We've also discovered Kavin, which is a barren, dead planet. So yay, <laughs> no no resources. Uh, presence of multiple anti-air defense structures that were fired upon small craft. Um, unknown what caused the extinction of that planet. And then we've got a black desert. So I think we're going to have to go and check this out next. Uh, resource wise, there's, there's Pentaxin on there. So that, that might be quite good. Hot desert planet scorched by proximity to its parent star. Pockets of EM radiation can be detected on the surface. Electromagnetic, which suggests some kind of structures, energy signatures, and stuff like that. So I think we're going to go and have a look at Galatrix. This planet is lost its charm already. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, it's a lava planet. What do you want? That's a bloody big lava planet as well. So it's good to we, that we know, okay, we've got the Zascosium on here. I've already dug up one of the deposits anyway. So there's Magnesium on here as well, actually. That's quite cool. Um, but yeah, scouting and stuff is going to take a while. <sighs> there's nothing really else that you can do on a lava planet without epic armor. And I suppose it could do the Polaris mission to get the epic armor. If it works, I don't know if it even works in this scenario. And then you can walk around on on um, on the surface, but until you get that epic armor, it's, it's you can't even read POIs really. Uh, it's just too hot and too radioactive. Um, where's my orange arrow? Oh, it's down there, blending in with the orange planet. The color palette though is uh, pretty special, pretty good. Right, warpy warps. Not possible. Shields are up. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Shields up again. We've got... Uh, we've got a couple of things. We've got a smuggler's stash. And whatever that is, three kilometers away. That's pretty cool. It's straight in from warp. And we're already finding stuff in space. I like that. Smuggler's stash looks like it's just a box. I can get behind that. I can get behind a box in space. Yeah, it's literally that. <laughs> it's a core and a box. <laughs> Xerox. Core and a box. That 2.5 kilometers away, that is a ship that's moving. Yeah, I think it's another one of those harvest drones that we did the other day, so that's fine. Nothing particularly special in those things. Two lava moons in orbit around here. There's a lot of lava. That planet looks awesome, though. Let's get down there in a minute. Right, let's see what this stash is all about. Um, this is literally a motion sensor. Ah, you cheeky bastard! 
<laughs> oh, that's savage. <laughs> yeah. I saw the motion sensor, but it was too late. By the time I saw it, it was too late. It was already like, ah, what's that? Oh, never mind. Ah, rude. <laughs> God damn. Oh, well, at least I know now. If I can find another one, then I shoot the damn motion sensors off. Uh, and then loot it. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, let's have a look at this planet. I'm going to ignore that patrol ship for now. Auto break off. Cruise, baby. Oh, man, this looks cool. This looks cool. It's going to be hot, but look at the... You can see the mountain ranges and stuff. Um, and it's weird. It's like purple and green and pink and stuff. Here we go. What the... Hello, giant signs in the sky. Holy moly! Is that a Zenu Fortress? No, it's not. It's very similar, though. Let's turn our auto brake function on now, level out, and gawk. Mmm. Interesting. Have we got anything on the. No. Well, that's. Anything else around? No. This place looks incredible. I love exploring on this scenario. There is always something interesting to find. Look at these random shapes carved into the ground. What the hell? How did he do that? That's amazing. I've I've sort of generated planets, but this is like on another level. This is crazy. But awesome. These giant red crystal formations. This is what I'm talking about. This is exploration. This is exploration. I love it. I love this whole planet and planet going around and just coming down from space and going, what the bloody hell? <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it's it's, it's unsustainable. I, I I admit. Like once you've once you've been through Project Eden and you found everything, you found everything. But I'm gonna land my ship at the center of this strange rune in the ground. This strangely symmetrical, naturally occurring rune in the ground. And uh, I'm going to take Stella up for a little fly, uh, cheeky poke at the at the Xerox bases over there. I want to find out what they are called. Uh, we found the Void Industrial. Okay. We'll avoid that then. <laughs> uh, food. Food is fine. Health, please. And a bit of oxygen. We put all these plants in the way. How <laughs> many plants? God damn it. Bit of oxygen. Uh, food is fine. We'll be back in no time for that. Stella! With your missing tail thing. Uh, Jetpack, please. Well, actually, this is reasonably... Reasonably livable. I mean, it's not breathable. Wait a second. Hold the phone. It is breathable. Interesting. Uh, what is also, does this open up more planets? It does. It opens up Attain. Attain, which is a d another dead planet. Great. <laughs> What's with all the dead planets, Raven? Why do you keep doing this to me? Sava, which is a pummeled desert. Uh, next to Mirari, which is a desert oasis. Uh, iron, Cobalt, Copper, Neo, and Promethean. Iron, Cobalt. Well, these two planets are basically the same. One's... Size 4, they're both size 4, one's 7, yeah, whatever, boring planets, come on, give me a, a nice temperate, uh, nice temperate planet, I mean there's the, there's the swamp starter, that's temperate, I suppose, the arid starter, not breathable, but the swamp will be breathable, but that's a starter, but I don't want to live there, I want to find, I want to find the best possible planet I can, I can live on, dead planet, not gonna cut it, anyway, this planet, weirdly, is breathable, I am gobsmacked at the breathability of this planet. Anyway, let's get into Stella here. Um, shields on, please, darling. The Void Industrial. Is that thing over there? Does that mean they're all alien stuff? Too hot. It's 158 degrees in this cockpit. That makes no sense. Uh, <laughs> we might have to leave it for a while to uh, cool down a bit. It's because um, it's been on this, the, the fire planet. The fire planet, the lava planet. It's gone and overheated itself. Uh, <laughs> I need to wait for it to cool down. 
God damn it. Drone! He's miles away, he's fine. Yeah, this is this is a pretty neat damn planet, actually. The color palette on this almost looks like the screenshot from the very first episode, the thumbnail I did. Uh, we've, got, <laughs> we've got drones headbutting the central spire there of that structure. Structure which looks like it's got turrets, but actually I don't think it does. It just looks like one crazy... that's got turrets. Uh, definitely, that's just Void Shrine, okay. But this this monstrosity doesn't look like it has turrets. It's got these, whatever they are. And then the Void Industrial, which has very much got turrets. Right, are you cooled down now? For the most part, yeah, okay. Well, you need to undock in order for your shields, shields to charge, my darling. Right. We have a little, little cheeky flyby. Pick up the names of all these things. There's a giant pyramid over there as well. Um, this planet definitely favours the pyramid-esque structures. There's some blue things over there. Uh, is that fauna? Flora void shrine detected. Going in fast and low to avoid radar detection. Giant mushrooms. Love it. Uh, Spanish discovered uh, the void temple complete with voids and drones. Look at this crazy place. It's also made out of a lot of combat steel. Alright. And I heard a lot of robots. So take a fire, take a fire. Invasive action. Void industrial is shooting at me. It's fine. That's what the shields are for. Okay. Could you... I'm out of range now. Seriously, behave. Right. And over here... We've got giant red crystal structure, which looks awesome, but it is also probably like that giant blue crystal structure that I accidentally on purpose destroyed on the moon. Previous episode, we've got void defense, which has no doubt got guns, and we've got void fortress. So there's a lot of alien stuff here. Um, I wonder if we're going to find some codes in these things. That would be sweet. They don't have shields on them, so I could probably quite easily take the guns off them. Is there anything else that we can see in this area? We've got another crystal structure there. Polka dot landscape here. Lots of little holes in the ground, basically. Where? Inside those little little ecosystems of crystals and stuff. <laughs> awesome. Why is it always dark? <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. I swear. It's just Sod's Law. Giant crystal structure makes me trip out and do barrel rolls. Ooh, red thing. Let's get some whoa, night vision going on. And we've got another voidy type structure down here as well. This looks like another defensey post type thing. Outpost. Followed by... Oh, lots of guns. Lots and lots of guns. Take evasive action, Delta-6. We are under fire. Okay, yeah, that's another one of these with all the little vents and stuff. All right, cool. 61% uh, and falling. Let's skudaddle. Okay, so that's not unique. It's good to know. Um, I need to go that way. But perhaps that giant pyramid thing is like the um, temple, or whatever it was. Yeah, I'm I'm confident here. I'm kind of like I, I don't know. In all honesty, I've never seen any of this before. But that opening that alien space station that we found is kind of like my goal right now. And I'm wondering if that crazy ass thing right here is going to hold a bit of a secret to that. So that's what we're going to aim for. First of all. We need to eradicate all weapons in the vicinities. Oh, great! That was a great shot that was lined up perfectly. It would have eradicated all four of those turrets in a single hit. But I had to reload. So, no great moment for me. Just circle strafe. And take the turrets out. We're under attack by something else. Oh, it's this one as well. 65%. We can do it. I reckon we got it. Put it in the bag. 
What you got? What you got? Oh. No, that was a miss as well. It's not going to go well if I keep missing. Thirty-four percent missed. Nailed it. Nice. Bingo, bango. Thank you very much for the tango. What? Hey, drones. What up? Who wants to die first? You do. Alrighty. I've never seen... I assume these are Xerox drones, right? No, they're alien drones! How has he done that? This guy's a magician. <laughs> this entire scenario is just wizardry, I swear. Absolute wizardry. Elion, employ this guy. Make him make the scenario. Right, I think that's all the guns, isn't it? Um, there's one more red dot on my thing. There he is. He's right there. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. You're dead. Uh, this place is going to be weird. I am glad that it's breathable on this planet because I suspect that this is going to take probably an entire episode to go through. The stairs at the top. Ah, it's weird. It's weird. It's fun. Uh, I like it. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. We shall do it. But you'll have to wait until the next episode because that is all for today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got to keep you coming back. You know, I need those views, right? <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna be good. We're gonna raid that bad boy in the next episode. And I hope you guys join me for that. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And hopefully I'll see you next time. It's bright in here. <laughs> bye bye.